Hi, my name is Rose, and today I was going to show you how to make chicken pot pie. This is a really easy recipe, and it's especially good when it's cold or when you have lots of hungry people. <laughs> okay, we'll start with the ingredients. To make the sauce, we're going to need one can, a 26 ounce can of cream of chicken condensed soup, and one can of milk with the same can. And we're going to use 16 ounces of mixed vegetables and three cups of chopped chicken. You can use rotisserie chicken or you can, like I did, I boiled four chicken breasts, three or four chicken breasts on a medium low. And to make the, bis the crust on the top, we're going to use three cups of biscuit mix. You can use any kind. I used bisquick and two thirds cup of milk. So I'm going to put this in a nine by 13 inch baking pan and you don't have to grease it or anything. You're just going to pour the sauce on the bottom and cover the top with the crust. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is boil four chicken breasts on a low medium oil. We have four about three cups of chicken. I used frozen chicken breasts and I'm going to boil them for about 25 minutes until they're done when there's no pink left in the middle when you cut them open. I start with one can of the cream of chicken condensed soup and one can of milk. Now we're going to stir this until it's smooth, and you can add the vegetables anytime. It's been simmering for a couple of minutes, and now it's ready for the chicken. Three cups of chopped chicken. Just stir that in and turn off your burner and it's done. Now we're going to make the crust the top for the top of the chicken pot pie or turkey. You can make this with turkey. So we have our three cups of biscuit mix. I used biscuit, bisquick, two thirds cup of milk. and just stir it and add a tad bit more milk, it's kind of dry. Okay, that looks better. Depending on what biscuit mix that you use, you might need a little bit more milk until you can get it into a ball. Okay, so now we're going to put a little bit of flour on the bottom of the counter so that I can roll this out. And I'm going to roll it to fit my 9 by 13 inch pan. Remember to coat your rolling pin with a little bit of flour and sprinkle a little flour on the top of your biscuits so that your rolling pin doesn't stick. Okay, it'll fit my pan. Plenty of room. Now I just want to pour the mix, the sauce and chicken, into my pan and cover it with the biscuit. Smoothing it out a little just to get the chicken spread out. Okay, this is what my biscuits crust looks like. I rolled it out so that it'll fit the top of my pan. 
Now I'm going to use a knife to go underneath here so that it won't stick to the counter. And just roll it up, transfer it over to your sauce. Unfold it. Just tuck the edges under so that it'll look nice and pretty. And if some of them are too long, just trim them off or tear them. And use the leftover pieces that you've cut off or that may not have enough crust. Okay, there you go. Now I cut some slits on the top. This is so that the air can release the steam. And if you want, you can crimp the edges. It's ready for the oven. I'm going to bake this at 375 for 20 minutes until the top is a little golden brown. It took about 18 minutes to cook until the biscuits were nice and lightly golden. And this is what it looks like. And I like to take a little bit of butter and spread it over the top, melt it. This is actually margarine. Let it cool for about 15 minutes before you serve it so it'll thicken up. 